All right, so I'm not sure if I'm totally oblivious or if this is actually a new product, but I was at Michael's over the weekend with my kids. William wanted some blending pencils and markers, and I happened down the aisle at Michael's where they have the poster boards and they have the they have these foam core boards for kids that have science fairs. They're like um, three panels to the board, and it kind of uh, when the panels open, kind of sits on the tabletop really nicely. Anyway, it's in that section. Um, Danny, quit distracting me with these. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I found this and I thought it was perfect for bag making. It's plastic corrugated sheets and it was $6.50 at Michael's. It was a 20 inch by 30 inch sheet and it is actually all plastic. So it's corrugated, which means that there's a front and back layer of the plastic and then there's vertical, little vertical, um, I'm not sure what you call this, Danny little vertical strips going layers layers thank you little vertical layers that make the corrugated plastic maybe about uh, a quarter of an inch thick and this sort of like a cardboard box has yeah kind of how corrugated uh, cardboard boxes are corrugated i know they make election signs out of something similar but there's not always an election going on so i was super excited to find this at my local michaels i'll be sharing with you later how to make a really simple false bottom for a bag and i'll be inserting the corrugated plastic but the really nice thing about this is that um, it it's washable because it's made out of plastic my previous false bottoms I made with foam core board which since it's uh, got paper layers to it it'll definitely break down if it goes through the wash or it gets really wet so I was really excited about finding this corrugated plastic again this piece I'm linking to Amazon but I found this at Michaels for six dollars and fifty cents and you only need a little bit for each false bottom so I'll be showing you Later on in the show, my demonstration will be for how to make a false bottom, but I thought this was really cool and I was super excited about it. I apologize if you go to Michael's all the time and, you, and you've already seen this for a while, but it was my first time coming across it, so I had to share it with you on the show.